Hawksley, this is Citadel. Enemy search radars are active, so keep low as you fly through the canyons to avoid detection. This is a black operation, so stealth is crucial. An out likely just hit the ground. Notify search and rescue. Hawksley, this is Citadel. Enemy search radars are active, so keep low as you fly through the canyons to avoid detection. This is a black operation, so stealth is crucial. An altitude indicator on your HUD will warn you if you are flying too high. If you exceed safe altitude and are detected, we'll have to abort the mission. Keep it in the weeds, Captain. We're only gonna get one shot at this. Hawksley, this is Citadel. Target information has been uploaded to your ERS TAC map. Proceed to nav point and stand by for go order from the Pentagon. I'm showing you well below radar detection altitude. Start your run to the target now. The United Nations met in an emergency session at their temporary headquarters in Zurich earlier today to vote on the nullification of the Reykjavik Accords. The Accords, ratified in early 2012, ushered in the era of the private military companies, which reached its peak during the South American War earlier this year, and culminated in the brief but devastating conflict between Artemis Global Security and the United States. The conflict, which lasted less than 72 hours and left an estimated 40,000 U.S. citizens dead in cities across the country, was the single deadliest attack on U.S. soil by a foreign power in the country's history. Speaking at the U.N. headquarters, President Sullivan declared that the era of lawless extranational mercenary forces has come to an end. With the repeal of the accord, existing PMCs will be forced to either disarm their combat forces and accept low-level support and logistics contracts as they did at the turn of the century, or cease doing business altogether. In the wake of the conflict with the United States, Artemis Global Security has effectively ceased to exist. An international manhunt continues for Artemis CEO Adrian DeWinter and members of the PMC's executive board, who disappeared shortly after the Los Angeles incident. Officials at Interpol insist that the fugitives will eventually be caught, but because of the extraterritorial provisions written into the Reykjavik Accord, legal experts are fearful that De Winter and his associates will ever receive the punishment they deserve. Looking good. You're almost there. Let's 
kill, Captain. Direct hit on the target. Citadel confirms that De Winter's hideout has been destroyed. No survivors detected. The bastard got off easy as far as I'm concerned. De Winter and his cronies had a lot to answer for. At least we made damn sure he won't trouble the world ever again. Mission accomplished, Renshaw. Time to head for home.